GM, Ford knew about climate change 50 years ago. Here's a summary of the article. Exxon privately knew about climate change in the late 1970s but publicly denied the scientific consensus for decades, according to 2015 reporting by Inside Climate News and the Los Angeles Times that spawned the hashtag hashtag Exxon knew and fueled a wave of climate litigation against the oil major. A Ford spokesman said the company knows climate change is real and is addressing it right now by investing more than $11 billion to electrify its best selling vehicles while aiming to run its manufacturing plants with 100% renewable energy in 15 years. GM and Ford joined the Global Climate Coalition, a group that opposed efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions during the George H. W. Bush administration, according to a GCC membership list obtained by the Climate Investigations Center. Unfortunately, it was clear that the GCC was intent on putting out false information about the state of climate change science, said Paul Bledsoe, who served as Director of Communications for the White House Climate Change Task Force during the Clinton administration. The role of automakers and their trade associations in climate denial campaigns is not well known. But these ads show a very deliberate effort, paid for in part by the auto industry, to undermine U.S. participation in a global climate treaty, said Kurt Davies, founder and director of the Climate Investigations Center. As they were agitating against climate action, GM and Ford were donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to conservative think tanks that disputed the scientific consensus on global warming, according to an E&E &E News analysis of data compiled by the Capital Research Center and provided by Robert Bruhl, a researcher at Brown University who studies climate denial. Bruhl said GM and Ford chose to support a campaign to delay or obstruct action on climate change by supporting these conservative think tanks that promulgated scientific misinformation. So what we're learning is it wasn't just the fossil fuel producers, but also the companies whose products were heavily engaged in fossil fuel use that were trying to stop action. This post received a score of 54,000, with an upvote ratio of 81%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. And it was theorized 100 years before them. Seriously, it wasn't like it was a state secret. Movies from the 80s definitely talk about it. Kids cartoons did. Captain Planet anyone? I'll turn you into a fucking tree. Edit, in case you wanted the link. Captain Planet MF. Pretty certain all corporations were aware and did not care. My dad was a chemical engineer who worked at a fertilizer plant in Nebraska. I remember him talking to me about the greenhouse effect in the mid-70s. They were publishing studies on the greenhouse effect in the late 1800s. Exactly. Where do you think the basis for a lot of our climate models that go, based on previous readings and weather trends, they've been running these studies for centuries now. They were well aware of the damage and risk and did it anyway. Basically since the Industrial Revolution we have know that industries destroy the environment. So roughly 200 years we have known. Scientists say the point of no return is in about 10 years or even sooner. Yeah we are not going to make it, no fucking way. The Arctic is looking really depressing at the moment. I can't help wondering if the point of no return is already here. We've had three record-breaking biome-wide fire events in one year now. Australia, Siberia, and the western US. The ecological reshuffling has begun and it's going to worsen on an annual basis. I think we'll be able to get through this while preserving some things of value, but the world is about to seriously change and it has begun in earnest. Greater than I think we'll be able to get through this while preserving some things of value, the ultra-rich will dip out to New Zealand while the rest of us get to fight for scraps of remaining arable land. Bro, I know how to build boats, they are not getting away that easy. Better take an army with them. Don't worry, they will. They're already coming up with plans on how to keep a security force when money loses all value. Shock collars are mentioned. I mean, yeah. I personally learned about it in elementary school almost 30 years ago. Do people think this is a recent revelation? Am I taking crazy pills? Edit, anyone remember the pilot episode of King of the Hill? Dale talks about global warming being a government conspiracy and Hank says if it gets one degree hotter he's going to kick Dale's ass. 23 years ago they were making fun of climate change deniers as crackpots, yet here we are in 2020 and they're still loud and proud. Yup, I learned about it in third grade, 1990. 
It was well established already, 30 years of heads buried in sand and counting for some people. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.